my busy is about the things that I would like to see change in my lifetime. Tell me what's going on with Hassan, the artist. Well, I give thanks and praise for this day. Uh, this day being 66 years in the making, as far as I can know. I give thanks that I have uh, proper health. I give thanks that I was not born wealthy because I would be most unbalanced. Uh, I give thanks that I was raised in a society where uh, we basically know right from wrong. Uh, I give thanks that uh, I was not caught up into doing most of those wrongs uh, so that I would be a part of those who are locked up right now. And I give thanks for just being, you know, being here and knowing that there's uh, a sun and a earth and people that you can uh, look to for knowledge and information. I give thanks for our ancestors uh, who came before us, who taught us and shared a lot of their wisdom and their uh, knowledge with us. So I give thanks for all of that. And uh, today is a very powerful, positive, and creative day. It's time to get busy. Get busy doing what, Hassan? Well, I would say in terms of myself, I would have to start with myself. And I would have to say my busy is about the things that I would like to see change in my lifetime. Um, I've seen a lot of changes being made throughout the society, throughout my life. And I believe that we can continue to make those changes and make the world a better place for all of us to live. And um, I don't think it's very uh, hard to do that. I believe it's uh, something that we can make up in our mind if we can conceive it and believe it, then we can achieve it. But if we uh, think that this is something anything that we cannot do and we will not do and we cannot do because our mind has kept us from it. There's a slogan uh, pertaining to the HBCUs that says a mind is a terrible thing to waste. That's right. And it is. So a mind is a terrible thing to not use. That's what they're saying. And if we're not solving problems then we're not using our mind. If we think that this day is so terrible that we can't uh, figure out a way out of this day, then we're not using our minds. Um, we know that we've seen just about everything. There is no news today that is new news. Everything has basically happened before. So we have to look deep from within and find the new you, the new us, the new opportunities, the new day. Find the new us and utilize it. We have to and make a change. That's what I would say. I like that. But what, what particular change or what particular changes are you working on right now? Well, there are many. There's a change that I would like to see come about. And that is illustrated by young brothers wearing their pants mm -hmm. below where it should go and showing their underwear. And um, I think this is one of the most disgusting things that a person could see That's right. or look at. But I also feel that it's a billboard and it's a sign of the times that we live in. If that is disgusting, if that is distasteful, if that is indecent, then what about slavery? Mm -hmm. And what about the continued slavery that is perpetuated on I and I every day? 
What about those greedy ones who have everything but not willing to share with the rest of us? Mm -hmm. And what about the millions of us who are incarcerated in prison most for petty crimes and some that they didn't even commit? So what about the millions and billions of dollars that are spent every day on foolishness when our youth are going around without jobs and opportunities. What about that? Is that not worse than looking at somebody's draws? Is it? Is that not terrible, dreadful, and indecent? And I believe that when we look at one of our youth and they're sagging, I think that we should look within and ask the question, why? And if we look deep within, we will come up with an answer. You know, Martin Luther King and the protesters of the 1960s, that was not a very beautiful scene to be a perpetrator of something that was so-called against the law or so-called uh, embarrassing. But those moments had to come and they had to happen and change was brought as a result of those ugly marches, those demonstrations, those, uh, those situations that had to be confronted in our society. So I would say that our youth are very wise in carrying out a silent protest. Uh, a silent protest that does not have a leader that you can bang, bang, shoot down like you did Martin Luther King, like you did Malcolm X, like you did so many of the other Medgar Evers and on and on. Uh, today is a new day and things are done differently. You may not like it. I might not like it. I really don't like seeing this scene of our youth. But I would rather see that than see the other side of that, which produced that. Think That's right. It. Those are some very, very deep thoughts. My busy is about the things that I would like to see change in my lifetime.